welcome to Games Wise, it's me, Wisecracker, and in today's episode, a special hammer build, especially made for the Frajor, or in my case, it's the Brock Hammer, because I got the skin for the Frajor. Of course, we always begin with the Stance Moth, then Killing Blow for channeling damage, Fury, because this weapon is pretty slow. Then the impact damage because this weapon has impact damage of its own and it's pretty high so take that impact damage. Presser point for some extra melee damage, corrupt charge for some channeling damage and spoiled strike for even more damage. I got the molten impact and north wind which will give you blast damage which is good against machinery if you swap fever strike with north wind you get gas damage which is good against all infested electricity and ice will make magnetic damage which is good against shields and proto shields when we now swap fever strike with north wind we get corrosive damage which is good against the grenier units but because this weapon does primarily impact damage I especially made a impact damage build, especially for this hammer. So let's check that one out. The melee stance mod equipped, then killing blow for channeling damage. Just like the last one, spoiled strike, of course, even more damage, pressure point, even more damage. Then we go to the critical damage with organ shatter, true still for some critical chance, very handy. We got the berserker which will make you faster with critical hits the fury mod for some attack speed and heavy trauma what I said 90% to impact damage now let's check this hammer out let's check out the pros and the cons of this build first off the pros it has a 5 meter area of effect knockdown jump attack it can hit multiple enemies at once it has a good critical chance and as I said it has a knockdown and when those enemies are knocked down you can finish them off very easily and of course I said it's good so it is good now let's um, let's check out those cons because for every pro there is a con I don't know if that's true but whatever a con extremely slow when unmodded but of course the fury mods are installed so this build is good enough it has a high stamina consumption per swing you need a rhino or a valkyr to soak up the bullets from all your enemies while you're doing this slow combos but as I said the fury mod and the berserker mod are installed so there are no troubles with being slow with this build so now let's see how this hammer can kill a lot of enemies
So we've seen a lot of killing in the last couple of minutes. Look at this. You just jump and put your hammer on the top of his dome and finish him off. Now let's see how much damage this build can do. Look at that! Almost 25k! That's pretty good! But but it can do better, I, I hope so, because I made this build especially for some extra impact damage, especially for letting my enemies fly, because I want them to fly straight to hell, because I don't like them, they want to kill me, and, and I don't like people. Oh look at this! I'm standing on an enemy! Did you know you could do that? Well, now you do. Now one more time, give me a high score, come on, oh look at this, almost 40k, oh, that must be good, I don't know how, how you think about it, but I think that's pretty good, so, I hope you enjoyed this build, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you again sometime, and until then, adios. So let's check this mod out and let's get to be the Flash. 